Um, this is African Renaissance, and we're at Octagon Marketplace for our stores. Um, we've been in Orlando for 14 years, and that's how long we've had African Renaissance. We originally used to bring everything in from Africa, it's all been handmade. We support uh, self-help groups, self-empowerment groups for women, um, groups that will take the raw materials to the women so that they can do the products like the basket weaving or the dolls and they can stay at home with their children and then they will pay them a fair wage and take it on and sell it. Recently, um, due to um, costs, we started making some of the stuff ourselves, including the ostrich eggs. Um, this is just a raw ostrich egg. It's hollow. It's been sterilized. I get the eggs here in the United States. Uh, when it's full, the ostrich egg is actually so strong, a grown man can stand on it end to end and it won't break. There are 24 extra large hen's eggs per ostrich egg approximately, so it's a pretty big egg. Uh, they make really nice omelets. Uh, when they use ostriches, they can use everything. They use the feathers for feather dusters, feather boas. They use the skin for um, leather bags, shoes, that kind of thing. The meat they use um, in a lot of restaurants, especially on the West Coast. It's very healthy. It's leaner than beef and it has less cholesterol than beef, but it's higher. I think it's high in protein. Um, but we get the eggs and we use them to decorate. Um, as you can see here, we have different designs. We have the, the eggs that are just loose. We have them on different stands. This is a double hanging stand. This is a giraffe stand. Pretty much we can, we can put anything on an egg it, as long as um, I can either hand paint it or it's a high definition picture that looks good on an egg and um, then we can paint it and fill it in. Um, over on this side, we have some carved ostrich eggs that uh, we've made into lights. The base on this one is actually carved ebony from Africa and this is just a stainless steel light that I put beads on and then uh, I wired this so that it's, it's compatible with American voltage and uh, they make beautiful lights. These are uh, elephants that you can see carved here. Um, if you'd like to come with me, I'll show you how we do the ostriches. Hi, we're still at Artigo Marketplace. What makes this marketplace ideal for us is that um, they encourage artists to come and do the, the art and to sell their wares. So I can actually sit outside the store and paint. Uh, we can't finish everything, but I can do the painting here. Now the process behind doing an egg is actually finding a high resolution image that then has to be sized to a certain size so that it'll fit on an egg. Um, and then this, this image happens to be um, a photograph that my uncle took in uh, the Kruger National Game Reserve and he was kind enough to let me use it. So it, it's actually, it, it has special meaning for me um, since it's one of his. But we start off with the raw egg um, and the image is cut out into an oblong shape and we decoupage the egg. What it ends up looking like is this. So you have the you have the image decoupaged on the egg, and unfortunately, because the egg is round and the image is is straight, it has to bend. So we have to cut into it, and as we cut and decoupage, there'll be imperfections. Um, sometimes, as you're decoupaging, the um, the paper will scrape off, and so it kind of it looks a little grungy and a little um, imp imperfect, but then. When we, when we paint it, this is what um, we end up doing. We paint in the imperfections and um, paint in the rest of the scene so it looks complete. So you have the, the, just the decoupaged Im image and then the hand-painted image. And then uh, this is the egg that has been painted fully. So you've got the 360 degree completed egg and it looks like a painting, but it's just on an egg. And then, then the rest of the stuff has to be done at our way at our um, warehouse. We start coating it with a high gloss um, lacquer, and um, we do several coats, and then we have to sand it. And if the sanding takes off any of the paint, we have to fix it. And then we do a couple more coats, 
and sand and then finish it off. And this is what we end up with is um, the same image, but it's just very high gloss. And uh, it looks almost like a, a, a car finish because of all the sanding and the gloss. It has some dimension to it. And then uh, we just, this one just happens to be attached to one of the stands that we made. But um, that, is, that is our process for doing the eggs. I hope you enjoyed yourself and um, I certainly enjoyed speaking to you. Thank you.